name is Sean Dukevich. I'm the principal at Pennell Elementary School. Here at Pennell Elementary, you'll find that we have a wonderful environment, a beautiful facility that was just renovated in 2004, phenomenal population of students, great community of parents, and by and large, a staff that's dedicated and, uh, and, and has a true love of students. At Penn Elementary, we have just over 420 students. Uh, we have about 32 full-time teachers, and including all of our staff, are about 50 staff members strong here at Penn. And we're very fortunate to have a beautiful facility. We have a full-size gymnasium, a dedicated cafeteria just for lunches, a full-size and well-stocked library. Uh, we have a full-size front field that's used for lacrosse and soccer and any type of recess activity we have here at Pennell. We also have a very secure front entranceway for parents and visitors to enter and exit the building. Pennell has twice been the recipient of the prestigious Blue Ribbon uh, for schools. And uh, recently, we were just named uh, the Pennsylvania School of Character for the year of 2012-2013. And the, the School of Character Award is something we feel very uh, proud about because we spent a tremendous amount of time with our character education initiatives and our student motivation and encouragement and recognition programs. Of course, one of the most important things when you send your child to school is that they're getting an excellent education. And a high achieving uh, school is one that has very high standards and expectations. Here at Pennell, we've been fortunate to earn some of the highest scores that we've had in history over the last couple of years. Uh, in math, uh, traditionally, we score uh, well into the very high 90% proficiency on the PSSA state assessment. For reading again we're around the 90% mark for proficiency. Uh, in, in writing and, and science again we're above the 90% proficiency mark and all of those things were well above the state average. Hi I'm Dr. Melissa Huber and I am the kindergarten teacher here at Pennell Elementary. Here in kindergarten students are given the opportunity to be readers and writers. This is such a rewarding opportunity for them because all through their life they probably saw their friends or parents or brothers or sisters being able to read and write and they actually get to be on par with them being in kindergarten. They also learn some amazing foundational skills that will help them in math as they move on to older grades. Throughout a typical school day, children participate with a meeting. The meeting is designed to help children learn the days of the week, the months of the year. We discuss temperature, we discuss weather, and we also discuss how many days we've been in school. During that meeting, we try to incorporate Spanish so that children are learning the information in both English and in Spanish. Once a week, we get to visit the school computer lab and the students participate in a computerized program called Success Maker Enterprise. That program lets children progress at their own ability level in both reading and in math. Hi, I'm Amy Lindsay and I teach first grade here at Pennell Elementary School. I think the Pennell work environment is something really special. As someone who's taught in a variety of different schools in different states, Pennell really stands out to me. Um, it's more than just a school. Pennell really feels like a family and I really feel like you can feel that the minute you walk in the door. You can see from the way people talk and interact with each other, you can tell the way that people treat each other, that they just care about one another. They know each other. Um, we take time to get to know both students, staff, leaders, and administrators, and we work together like a real family unit. In the classroom, children are always engaged in hands-on, minds-on learning from the minute they walk in the door. You always see smiles, because we definitely make learning fun. But we bring a lot of rigor into the curriculum, too. Children have opportunities to work in both cooperative groups and independently. It's our goal to give each child what he or she needs on their level to become a lifelong learner. Our, our, our Parent Teacher League, the PTL, is phenomenal. They're involved in so many things. They fundraise a tremendous amount to provide true memories and experiences for our students. And those are the things that really make our school very unique. The climate at Pennell is one that we hope to be very positive, very friendly and welcoming. Uh, we do a lot with our students for recognition programs. We, uh, we recognize students daily uh, we, by giving them what, what are called team tickets. We recognize them for showing core values. Uh, monthly, we recognize students who meet the core values that we focus on for each month, and they get a certificate. And our team ticket winners um, are able to uh, be chosen randomly to have lunch with me. Uh, above that, we try to build a literature-rich environment here at Pennell. So you'll find that as you walk through the hallways, you'll see poems and quotations from books, famous authors. We currently are looking to open our outdoor classroom uh, in the back of our school, something we're going to rededicate in the spring of 2013. 
and we'll open our doors uh, to new ventures and to the environment in our backyard. And with the opening of our outdoor classroom, we hope to become a national wildlife habitat. We have an outdoor science classroom now, so we get to go in there sometimes and we got to plant plants and we got to learn about special kind of seeds. My favorite thing about Pennell is all the teachers here and they're really nice. Hi, I'm Marianne Fallon and I'm a second grade teacher at Pennell Elementary. Students can be expected to learn in second grade reading comprehension, phonics, and fluency. In math, we work on a lot of problem solving. We work on time, money, measurement, fractions, double digit addition and subtraction with regrouping and borrowing. In science, we work on balancing and weighing, changes, and insects. Students have the opportunity to attend one special every day. They will go to art, library, guidance, physical education, and music. We try to bring technology into the classroom on a daily basis. Teachers use Promethean boards with interactive lessons. We also use iPods and laptops. We have a good atmosphere at Pennell. Teachers are enthusiastic and students are also enthusiastic learners. Hi everybody, my name is John Clark. I teach physical education here at Pennell Elementary School, which encompasses grades K through five. We've been able to put uh, forward a few exciting programs as well at my time here. Um, we're doing a program this year called Morning Mileage. And with Morning Mileage, the kids can come in before school. They can work out in the gym. They have an opportunity to earn a little charms that they put on their sneakers that represents how many miles they've actually accomplished. We've also um, worked closely with the Phillies over the last few years, and they actually visited our school last year and worked out with us. Um, Pennell is just, I, I can't say enough about the families, the administration, and the kids that I work with on a daily basis. One of the great things about being a superintendent is I get an opportunity to visit all of our schools on a very regular basis. And I have to say, every time I come into Pennell, I'm just extremely impressed. There are certain characteristics that you always measure great schools against, and Pennell just seems to hit a home run on every single one of those measures. Um, I can't think of an area where I think they really have to improve in. Uh, they just do a phenomenal job with every aspect of what you would expect to see in a high-end exemplary school. I would encourage people to learn more about the school. You'll be very impressed with what you see and what you find out. Hi, I'm Michelle Rucci and I teach third grade here at Pennell. Third grade math, some of the things the students concentrate on would be things like counting money, telling time on a clock, addition, subtraction with regrouping, which they're really excited to get. One of the things that the students are going to look forward to in social studies in the third grade is we read a biography about Ben Franklin and then at the end of the school year we're actually able to take a field trip to Philadelphia where they'll be able to see Ben Franklin's house and other historical sites in Philadelphia. The units in science are plants, rocks and minerals, the water cycle. One of the ways that students are challenged here at Pennell is we have a program called Reading Counts where students are to read books on their own or during class time. What the students do after reading their book is take a quiz and if they are able to score a 70 or higher then they earn the points available for that book and then as a school we keep a tally of how many words each student has. So one of the main goals that students are trying to reach is reaching a million words. The academic programming in the elementary school is very robust. We're constantly looking at ways that we can extend student learning and also ways to remediate students that may need some additional assistance. So the materials that are in place and the resources that are available for our teachers to use with students are focused on how do we make every student learn and make sure that they're successful in the classroom. We write curriculum on a regular basis. Yearly we're looking at any gaps that may exist based on our results on standardized testing and district-wide testing and also looking at every individual student and seeing what we need to do to improve the curriculum that's in our district. So it's an ongoing process that we use. Part of the process also includes piloting materials um, for placement into our curriculum. And we'll look at the materials, we'll try it for a period of time, we'll get feedback from teachers, students, and parents. And based on all that information, we choose what materials actually are implemented into the curriculum. Our ultimate goal is that by writing curriculum and piloting materials and putting the correct things in place, all of our students are successful as they transition into the middle, high school, and eventually post-secondary education. Bye. I'm Rosemary Fowler, the Elementary Curriculum Supervisor. Our elementary core curriculum includes language arts, mathematics, science, and social studies. The language arts program is comprehensive. 
It is designed to develop competency in reading, writing, listening, and speaking. The instructional plan includes teacher and students working in shared and guided groups and provides students the opportunity to work independently to practice and master the literacy skills and strategies. The mathematics program teaches the content at each grade level to include numbers and operations, algebraic thinking, measurement, and data and geometry. The students learn real-life applications of the skills. They work independently and collaboratively to reach mastery. Science instruction is an inquiry-based, hands-on program. It is designed to introduce students to the scientific method. The science lab kits include study in physical, biological, and earth and space science. The social studies curriculum focuses on the exploration of people, places, community, and cultures in the primary grades. The regions and history of the United States is the focus of study in the intermediate grades. The literacy skills and strategies are integrated across all curriculum areas. Our goal at the elementary level is to begin our students on the path to becoming a lifelong learner. Hi, I'm Melissa Nielsen. I teach fourth grade at Pennell Elementary. In fourth grade, in math, we start the year out working on numbers that go out to the hundred millions place. Then we move on to decimals and fractions as the year progresses. We end the year with measurement and division. In reading, we work on enhancing comprehension. In science, we teach three hands-on science kits. One of those kits is land and water. The others are electricity and animal studies. In social studies, we go on a tour of the United States, learning about different regions and keeping a scrapbook of our travels. We also do a special unit on Pennsylvania. In writing, we complete units on narrative, persuasive, and informational writing, as well as a poetry unit. We have the Penguin Press newspaper at Pennell, which makes Pennell unique. It comes out five times a year and involves about 60 fourth and fifth graders each year. We have an estimation station in the lobby where all the classes visit throughout the month to work on their estimating skills. When I come to school, I'm really excited about to learn new things. In fifth grade at Pennell, we teach all subject areas. Our basic role is to get students ready for middle school. We teach reading, writing, mathematics, and science. And in science, we allow students to visit each teacher where they will be taught either ecosystems, micro worlds, or motion and design. During social studies, basically, we review the American colonial period and the American Revolution. To me, Pennell is a unique school because it's very forward-leaning. We have some of the latest technology available that we utilize on a daily basis. We also have adopted the most current state standards and, in fact, are kind of thinking forward as far as what changes we have to make as educators to stay ahead of the curve. Um, what truly makes Pennell unique to me, though, is really the, tr the motivated staff and the students here. Um, in addition to fantastic families that they all come from, we have a bit of a synergy, and together the product is uh, amazing results with regard to students' achievement and test scores. No matter what level a student is at, at Pennell, and even in fifth grade, um, we are meeting the student at their level. We differentiate instruction continuously, whether through guided reading groups, um, through accelerated math, through supports uh, via Mrs. Wells. Um, every student's level is being met where they are at, and then we attempt to raise the bar, taking them beyond what they were able to do previously. And our goal as educators is to take something that students have to learn and make it something that they want to learn. I like how he like slows down everything for us. Like if we're like confused on something, I like how he, uh, he takes us like back one by one. And if you're like confused about something, he'll teach us. And I like um, that some of the stuff that he does, like he'll take like our subject and then he'll teach like tell us like stories about if he did something, like something that happened in his life using that subject and what happened. And like it'll help us like learn a lot more about that stuff. Some of my favorite things are like science because like in Miss McDougal's class it's like motion and they teach you about that by like can use like using like connects and rubber bands to like see how like things work better. And with um, Mrs. Green's class for science, we use microscopes to look at like little um, mini miniature um, plankton and stuff like that. Miss Grunach's class, if you see right over there, we have like fish and snails. Uh, I can't pick a favorite teacher because they're all so nice. They always like make learning fun here. It's fun to come to school and see all your friends and the nice teachers. I'm Patrick and I'm a fourth grader at Penn Elementary. There's so many different clubs like Math 24, Band, Chorus, 
um, newspaper. In science, we learn like animals, electricity, land and water. In social studies, we're learning about the states and capitals. My favorite thing about Pennell was playing a saxophone. There is something called seminar, and seminar is like an extra program where you can learn other things, like um, about different topics, like architecture and different topics, like uh, flight, robotics, and other different kinds of things. There's this one cool thing, it's reading count. You read a book, and then you can take a quiz on it in the computer, and um, it gives you words, and if you get a million words, then you get to be in this um, like assembly at the end of the year, and it's really fun. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm a third grader at Pennell. It's the first year we're taking the PSSA, and I'm excited to see how it goes. The morning mileage is really cool. I've already got, I think, 10 feet, and one foot equals one mile. I've made, I've made a lot of friends here, and all of them are so cool. It's really fun to be here. My favorite thing about Pennell is being able to learn and being with my friends at the same time. Um, just the basic, the entire school day, is, everything is like fun. Don't know what's not fun. I like everything about Pennell. So it's not like a school that, like I don't get up in the morning like, oh, school. <laughs> like most people do, I get up in the morning like, yay, school. My favorite thing about Pennell is Dr. Huber. My favorite thing about Pennell is that it teaches are really fun. My favorite thing about Pennell is the specials. My favorite thing about Pennell is the computer lab. And my favorite thing about Pennell is the after school and before school activities. My favorite thing about Pennell is having all my friends and teachers watching me. My favorite thing about Pennell is the Promethean birds in the classroom. My favorite thing about Pennell is becoming a safety and being on the student council team. My favorite thing about Pennell is everything. It's really fun here. My favorite thing about Pennell is the teachers of how they're really nice and the fun activities that we do during math and stuff. Um, it is a real pleasure and an honor to be the principal here at Pennell. I absolutely love my job. And some of the reasons would include not only just working alongside the students every day, uh, but working amongst such a supportive and ambitious community uh, in Aston. What makes Pennell special? It's mainly the students. We have enthusiastic teachers, a great facility, and wonderful parents. When you put that whole combination together, what you get is a great environment for students, students who want to come to school, and students who achieve. And bottom line, that is our goal. We love